Hi, I'm Darren Salisbury, I'm product manager for Mongoose. Uh, we're out here talking about the free drive technology today. We came out with the free drive design in 2005, and every year we just keep refining it, making it better. We make the hardware better, make it run smoother, refine the leverage ratios that we use on the shocks. You know, the free drive stuff is, uh, it, it's, an, it's an awesome platform, and, and um, it enables our all-mountain bikes to be true all-mountain bikes because the climbing aspect of it is, in my opinion, superior than other bikes because it climbs more like a hardtail, which is what you want. And when it descends, it's free to suspend, which is what you want. So it's a truly, uh, that platform truly creates an all-mountain uh, bike that can do everything. One of the key aspects of the free drive design is it actually has a very high pivot. Normally, if you had a high pivot, you would have a lot of chain growth, which would restrict how your shock moves. But with our system, our bottom bracket actually runs independent with this linkage of what the rear triangle and the front triangle are doing. So it isolates that. We actually have very, very little chain growth in the system. Another key aspect is back here, and because of the way the frame is mounted directly, the brake is mounted directly into the frame, it's very neutral braking, so you grab a fistful of brake and the wheel can still keep moving over the bumps and keep you in control. One other part on the independent bottom bracket, by having this isolated from the front and rear triangle, it doesn't matter what gear you're in. So you can be in the big ring up front, the small in the back, the big cog in the back, the small in the front, and the suspension behaves the same. Most designs don't do this. Most other uh, companies' designs will change how the suspension feels as you change the gearing. One of the things that we've done with the free drive over the years is we've learned more about leverage ratios. We've actually been backing off the amount of force that it's needed to activate the shock, going to these oversized air canisters, which require lower pressure. And what that does for us, it gives us a very supple movement over the choppy stuff. It still gives a nice ramp up at the end and uh, handles the big hits fine too. We've been changing the position of the bearings over the years. It used to be the bearings down in this section were located inside the link. And we now have moved them outboard. We use a very common 688 that can be found on inline skates uh, bearing. And then by moving it outboard, we create more lateral stiffness out of the frame. And it's just much easier bearing for the, anybody to find uh, in the marketplace if they need to replace them. I can corner faster with free drive. Um, I can climb better with free drive. I can do more things with one bike instead of having to do specific riding where if I'm going to go on a cross country ride I have to have this bike and if I'm going to go do downhill runs I have to have this other bike. Um, there's, a, there's a market for that. People like to have those specific bikes but for me I want to have one bike that does it all and the free drive stuff lets me lets me do that. Bottom line is that we want the free drive to help you have fun in the outdoors, get out there and have a great time on your mountain bike. The trail goes on forever and the party never ends. Mm -hmm.